Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and I know I said I'm going to be looking at Alien this month and May, but you know what, I promised that one viewer I was going to look at this ship. So today, we are taking a look at the Star Wars Titanium Droid Starfighter, also known as the Vulture Droid. Now, these were used by the CIS, Confederacy of Independent Systems, and the Trade Federation, and I like it, uh... Similar to the TIE Fighter a little bit in the fact that it's a center fuselage with the uh, winds, and the winds do open on this, very nice. Now, uh, the copyright on the bottom of this says 2005. However, for episode one, I believe Hasbro at the time made these ships, uh, but I don't know, maybe it's a brand new mold? So if anybody has the original version which should be like a tan and like a greenish tan, you know, for episode one, that color scheme. Uh, let me know in the comments below, because I am looking to buy that, it is cheap enough. But I wanted to know if they are the same. I always thought they are, but based on that copyright on the bottom, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll find out one day when I buy it. But anywho, we do have a lot to talk about. This ship was in episode one, episode three, The Clone Wars... It has a great design, uh, I really liked it because this isn't just a fighter, this is a droid. This part would come up, because it's the head, these legs would split apart and turn this way and it would be like a walker. Very cool. So let's get this review started for the size of this ship. It's about 3 inches long, not the longest, but, you know, size doesn't really matter with these. It's all about the paint and the detail. And speaking of painting the detail, we have a lot to go over with this, so let's get moving. Starting off this review, looking at the mold, I think for 2005, it is a nice ship. Um, is it 100% accurate? No. However, it does have some nice qualities to it. Now, I did a review for the Hot Wheels version, I'll link that down below. Now, that one had beautiful winds. And this one, it did a decent job at... Showing the winds closed, but I'll get to it in a little bit. But when you open these, I don't know. Uh, it just doesn't do it for me. Plus, they look all big and bulky. Like, these things are supposed to be thin. You know, if you ever see the movie, you know, when these split apart and they're walking on them, they're like sticks. Uh, it's not supposed to be all filled in all the way up to here. But that was for the gimmick, so that way they could open up. So I'll give them that. Starting off here, we have our blaster cannons right there, or laser cannons, whatever. We have some nice lines here. The engines are molded pretty well in the back. I'll turn it. Pretty hard to film this bad boy. Right there, we can see some nice lines. The head and all over the front have these nice paneling. And I like that, too. Because it's all sectional pieces, because they're built in a factory. And I could just picture the droid arms putting it together and zapping and welding it, whatever. Very cool. Now for the bottom, we do have some nice detail down here. And then in the front, we have our copyright crap, 2005, peg hole. And then three screws. And now for the cool part, the winds. Now we have some neat detail in here. We got a bunch of lines. Different lines going down here. Nice pieces in the front. Very cool. And that's the same for this side. Now for the interior of the winds, it's kind of blah in the back. Right here in the front, it's blocky because of the gimmick. And then in the front here, they do have some great detailing. So to open them, I like to grab them like this, and you just pull. Uh, this side always wants to bend like that. Let me get this side now. You just pull. It's a little snug, but you could get it. And this one doesn't give me a problem. It looks pretty neat. It has those two little circles there. I, I never really liked that. But, uh... Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Again, this wind... It always flops. They are heavy, you know. This thing's all metal. On this one, anyway. Is really cool, right? So that basically does everything for the mold. So let's take a look at the paint now. Taking a look at the paint, we only have about five or six colors on this. Now the first color, 
take a look at the bottom, because it's not paint, it's just a base color. But that base color, I had a hard time trying to find a word that describes it. Um, I want to say it's blue. But to my eye, it's like a bluish gray. And that covers the whole entire ship. Now on top of that, we have some black, and it's like war paint. It goes across. And then we have this nice V shape on the winds with that black. And on this side, like arrowheads. Very neat. Now next to that black, we do have some navy blue. Nice CIS blue going on there. Especially in the front, in these two sections. Oops. And a stripe going down the wind. And that's on both sides. And on top of that blue, we have some white. Nice triangles there. Also on this side. There we go. And then in the front, we have our white triangles right there. And right here, we have our CIS symbol. And it came out really good. It's like a navy blue with white. And I like it. A lot of good detail in there. And the last color is red for the eyes. And that decal has black outline in it. So it gives it a unique detail. Very nice. I think the paint job on here is pretty damn good. Just like most titanium ships, comes with a cool stand. Put in a peg hole like so. And you're good to go. Now for comparison, I chose to put it next to an X-Win. And you may be asking yourself why. I chose an X-Win because a lot of people uh, don't really have many of the ships I review. But I chose this because many of you have it. So, just by looking at this, you can tell how big it really is. And, um, uh, the X-Win's a tiny bit bigger. But, uh, more detail on the X-Win, obviously. But the Droid Starfighter's not that bad. I really do enjoy it. Both great ships. And that does it today for my review of the Star Wars Titanium Droid Starfighter. Or, as some people call it, the Vulture Droid. Now, this was released in 2005. And, uh, again, I don't know if it's the same exact mold as the Episode 1 version. Um, if somebody has the original 1999 one, let me know if there are differences. Because, uh, like I said, I do plan on buying that very soon. But it would be cool to know, so let me know in the comments below. And I fully recommend this ship. It has a lot going for it. Now, like I said, it's not 100% accurate, but you have some nice lines and details built into the winds, the main body, and the head. Awesome. Now, what sells it for me is the paint. When I started buying these, all the CIS stuff was Clone Wars paint scheme. And I love that. When things match, they look good. Tanks, the Tri-Fighter, this, the Battleships, the Invisible Hand. Awesome. They all match and all go together. And I love it. Now... If you're looking to buy this, I would strongly recommend eBay or some other third-party seller. You cannot buy this anymore at retail. But anywho, very nice, fully recommend it, and is a great addition to the collection. It stands out, and it's well worth it. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button for new reviews every Thursday. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.